tonight, my girlfriend Chelsea Luna and I travel all the way to Indianapolis, Indiana to visit the state's oldest bar, the Slippery Noodle Inn. There has been several documented cases of paranormal activity that has occurred here, with dead bodies buried in the basement and a bordello that ran all night. Tonight, we were given permission to not only film backstage, but to film the basement where the bodies are buried as well as the bordello where there was deaths that occurred. Make sure you keep your eyes open, because you never know what you might see. All right, we all have to run across and scream. Ah, hurry, it's coming. Okay, I guess I'm the only one that did it. Hey, Savage Squad did it, Savage Squad. Yes, look at all the fans in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. 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 Yeah. We had about 10, 15 fans in there waiting when we arrived. And as soon as we walked up, I had a gentleman come up to me. He says, Can I talk to you for a minute? I'm like, Sure. He goes, I'm the head of security here at the mall. You guys are welcome to be here, but I need you to obey all the rules. Big shout out to them here at Circle Center Mall. They were very respectful. They let us do our thing. And I understand where they're coming from. I guess another YouTuber came here before. I guess there were some problems and um, maybe they were worried that they were gonna have problems again. But instead we taught them what fam love is about. Even Santa Claus, even Santa Claus got in on the love. He wanted pictures with us. Like then he wanted like me to punch him. <laughs> He did. Santa Claus wanted me to punch him, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He's like, okay, you and Chelsea punch to me. kiss him. I think he, he was willing to take the punch just, yeah, for the kiss. just for the kiss. I think that's what it was. So it, it's oh been pretty God. crazy. So awesome. So many great fans. And I had to share this with you guys because if it wasn't for you guys, you know, none of us would be here, you know. So I appreciate it for all of you guys, you know. We got three mods here. We got Davros. We got Kelsey York and Stephanie Williams. I mean, it's been all Stephanie Phillips, excuse me. I got it, I, I, I corrected you. There's a lot of people here. Yeah. Stephanie Phillips, as soon as I said that, I knew that was wrong. <laughs> Stephanie Phillips, and it's just awesome, man. Like, big shout out to you guys. Thank you all for being here. We're gonna have a good time. And we decided to come out, freeze our butts off next to the Christmas tree, so. Stephanie. Uh, Davros. Kelsey, where's Kelsey? Look, that's our fam, Kelsey York. You guys know Kelsey York. She's in every single live stream. So is Davros. You're not Davros. That's not. That's Shannon Price right there. I don't. I got. I got it. I, I'm not gonna forget no more. And of course, this is Davros right here. Oh. Wait. Where's Where's our fam that got got Santa Claus's phone number? No hiding. Don't hide. Somebody picked up a number. Somebody got, that's everyday treasures right there in the house. Hey, I can see why Santa likes you though. Look, look at the beard. Like, yes, he did get Santa's number. Hey, I say you could do a lot worse than Santa, but you know what, I think he's already taken. I'm sorry, Santa, if you're watching this, you know, you're a little too late. Yeah, this is awesome, man. Where there's steps? Oh, Davros, come here. What? You gotta hold my hand, man. Yeah, I wanna, like, hold on. I've been replaced. Go, 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 go. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. Like oh, you out of breath? <laughs> Very it's cold. Well, you know, it's elevation. Hey, Davros. Right? You know, About the third step, we're like, oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> we regret our decisions. Are you out of breath? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he called you out. I want my pin back. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got it. Uh, <laughs> okay. You didn't bring some wood back with you, did you? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Mackies? I don't know. I was worried about that. We really, really, really seriously were. There's some craziest stuff that ever happened to us ever. <sighs> Chelsea, we forgot to say a prayer when we left. Remember we were supposed to do that? Oh, no. We 
Actually, that really does worry me because this place, I'm telling you, wait till you guys see this video. Luckily, you guys made it just before we came down here, which was perfect. Yeah, we're yeah. All okay. we're all getting cold. Yeah, true. Well, if anybody needs to go, you can go and just give me a hug and say goodbye first. I don't want nobody like freezing to death. True, true. I feel you. I feel you. I, I will do that. I just want to make sure all our fans all across the world get to partake in this because yes, this is so amazing. You guys are amazing. Nobody like, seriously. You guys are amazing. <laughs> yes. So we got some big pictures, small pictures. Check that out, guys. How awesome is that? Anyone else got anything to say to the rest of the fams? Bye. Bye, Felicia. Hi. Oh, you said hi. I thought you said bye. You're like, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Anyone? Kelsey York, Hello. Davros, mine's quite, hey, something I just found out, who knew Davros had a YouTube channel all this time, because I didn't, did you know Davros had a YouTube channel? We just finished up at our meetup, it was unbelievable meeting you guys, shout out to our Indianapolis fans that came out, it was incredible, like both my phones died, and my homie Davros, you guys know Davros, decided he was going to give us a ride home, thank you bro, and we decided to go get something to eat, and a lot of fans that came to the meetup said so that we should go to the Slippery Noodle, and that's where we're at. Apparently it has some crazy paranormal history here, and uh, we're here now getting something to eat. And um, yeah, we're going to see what we can find out about it. And our great fam, Erica Thorpe, who is a moderator on our channel, she has decided to join us for dinner. Well, she's joining us on the phone, but yeah. And she's giving us all the background history of this place. And, 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 and she was just saying, like, what did you say? That there was, like, a cemetery in the basement? There's a makeshift graveyard wow. in the basement. That's crazy. Oh, that would be fun to view. Yeah, I'm totally down. So big shout out to Erica helping us out, having dinner with us, even though she can't taste this great food yes. that we're about to eat. But um, we're going to see Erica in California. And if you're in any of the other 29 states that we haven't visited yet, don't worry. We are coming to see you. And if you're outside the U.S., hey, listen, we love our fans all over the world. And eventually, I want to travel all over the world to come meet you no matter where you're at. The U.K., the Netherlands, India, like it does not matter. Australia, anywhere you're at, we're going to end up coming eventually. Just give us some time, and I can't wait to meet you guys. All right, we're going to eat some food now, and hopefully we can film a scary video. We're at the Slippery Noodle, and I got my homie Dylan over here. He's going to be, you're going to be showing us the basement, bro. Yeah, definitely. Dude, I've heard some crazy stories of this basement. Maybe you can even tell us something about it but when we get down there. I'm excited. Yeah. You ready? Right here, actually, so like from this hallway on or whatever. Okay. Uh, so this is the original bar. Okay. Uh, they believe for the bar top and like where the mirror is to be like part of the original bar as well. Okay. Uh, so it's founded in 1850. Uh, it's been in the Yegi family uh, for quite some time and everything. Uh, but then cool. also too, uh, so along with this all being the original, the ceiling right there. So you, it's kind of hard oh, to tell. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. But it's like a gold tin ceiling. Dude, that's neat. Uh, yeah. So they believe for that to be like, you know, part of the original bar as well and everything. So the the stairs are kind of steep, so just watch yourself. Don't Appreciate it. I may, but I'll be okay. So, like, right back this way. Hey, so guys. Kind of some more, yeah, we got the Blues Brothers. Here, yeah. yeah, I love that. Kind of like employee oh, rooms right here and everything. Uh, we've got, like, more uh, manager space and everything cool. right there. But then... Oh, damn. Dude, that is so cool. I love that. I have to get a picture afterwards. Davros. Awesome. A little pride right now. We got a couple of boxes. Yeah, no worries. So just watch your step. Definitely. Sure. Wow, bro. That. Oh my God. That's a lot of area. So this room right here, we call it the horror room. Uh, okay. So up until like the 1950s, this was actually like a brothel. Uh, wow. So they kind of redid what like a typical room. Oh, neat. Like and everything. Yeah. But you're more than welcome to walk in there. Cool. Uh, I would touch the wallpaper. It's like velvet and stuff. Touch it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh. So. Whoa, check that out. Davros, feel this. So before, that is like, neat. Insulation and stuff, they had to do things just to kind of like, you know, keep the building warm and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so they would do anything between like, you know, making like fabric insulation to, uh, they would also put uh, newspapers like in between uh, the wallpaper and everything. So when they were redoing this room, they actually found those wallpapers like in between the room. I can't remember what year it is on there. 
Um, but yeah, so this original wallpaper. So this room has seen a lot of action. Yes, definitely. Wow. Yeah. What'd you say it was? 1933. Yeah, 1933. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So my favorite part though, so right here like in the floor, there's like oh. that hole right there. So uh, whenever, you know, the clients and stuff would come in and everything, mm -hmm. um, the ladies of the night, we'll say, uh, they would kind of hide their stuff down there that way nobody would take care of anything. Oh, like smart. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep. Cool. Go Check ahead. this uh, out. So this is amazing. Also, like, some of the original owners, they would live up here. Wow. A lot of these rooms uh, were like stained. Man, big shout out to the Slippery Noodle. This is awesome. Yeah. And then they kind of converted it into, uh, like, that's the owner. So these were all set. This this was the brothel area right here, Correct. right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that's so neat. Yeah, the owner of the whole entire place. Hey, uh, what's up, man? He's he kind of turned it into a little bit of a storage for all this, you know. Yeah. Festivals and everything. And, yeah. 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 Hey, it's a blues place, you know? Heck yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah. I, I love how you guys redid that room or, uh, you know, did that room up. That's really yeah, neat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. I love this. <laughs> And that's what you'll see, like a lot of like the woodwork and everything, you know, that's, uh, so while I said uh, the front bar was the original uh, part of the bar and everything, mm -hmm. but a lot of the woodwork and everything you'll see, you know, it's definitely, uh, it's been there for a while and everything, it's kind of old school. And, uh, yeah. if walls could talk, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Wow. My favorite thing, well, I have two things. Mm -hmm. okay. One, I don't know where this photo is from, but here is like what, you know, like back in the that's day. That's the original. The yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Neat. Um, so is, is this so like I, I know it's, it's grown a lot bigger since then. Definitely. Is yes. it is it did they moved out into more spaces and open it up or did they actually rebuild stuff? No. So basically, yeah, what you were saying. So what they did was they kind of it was you know all from this end and everything, and then they just kept adding to it. You know, nice. as time went on and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, when we go downstairs, I'll show you like the back and everything. Cool. Uh, I used to. Oh, sorry about that. No, you're good. Uh, so it used to be where they would keep the stables. For like the horses and everything. Oh wow! Uh, and that's kind of. Have you guys heard about like John Dillinger? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's he was I, just at. He was just telling me about Dillinger. You were at his grave today, right? I stopped at his grave today. Yes. At uh, oh, what's the name of the cemetery? I can't even think of it now. I can't but, remember off the top of my head. Yeah, but I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you so if you yeah, that's a that's a really good bike ride actually. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So like, uh, I don't know exactly where I'm from here, um, but we'll I'll show you when we get downstairs mm -hmm. and everything. But yeah, they would go to the alleyway and mm -hmm. they would just do their thing, you know, kind of just shoot bullets and cool. just kind of mess around. And Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah. And as we walk, Dillinger Dillinger was famous for what? So, a uh, bank robber. So, it was Dillinger mm -hmm. and, like, the Brady gang. Mm -hmm. uh, so, they were very, like, well-known, like, in the, uh, I would hope to say the 50s. Mm -hmm. But for bank robbing and stuff like that. Cool. And yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, my other thing. So, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, like, Buddy Guy. Mm -hmm. Actually, we got that guy. Buddy Guy actually came here for his birthday. And then, uh, Kenny Wayne Shepherd actually, he called our GM, uh, Marty. And, you know, he was like, mm -hmm. hey, like, you know, I want to come here and everything. And Marty was like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. You, you know. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shepherd, no, showed up that and, must have been funny. Yeah, so him and Buddy Guy, they played on stage together and awesome. everything. Awesome. Yeah, Heck yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. he, he seems like a, a um, Buddy seems like, Buddy, right? Yeah. Manager? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yep, seems yep. like a good dude. Yeah, definitely. Very funny character, man. Just yeah. see, see him, see, hanging with him for two minutes, man. He's a funny guy. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Cool. Uh, so we'll head downstairs yep. now. Awesome. Cannot wait till we get down to the basement. This is going to be awesome. There's an actual cemetery in the basement. Like a homemade burial ground in the basement. I will duck. Yeah. I bumped my head many times. It's all good. So they said we can come back here and do a full paranormal investigation for a day or two, which is amazing. Wow, this is so cool. All right, so this is the basement. Mm -hmm. uh, as you see, we keep a lot of like storage and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite thing about it is I love seeing the big old liquor cage. Seen all how much you know. Oh, you know, that's yeah. My favorite part. Oh, yeah. Nice. Like, like, if it's the end of the world, we're going to be the ones <laughs> that everybody comes to. So then this way. So uh, this is huge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keep wow. Going. We're not even done. Yeah. Wow. So this is like the notorious hallway. Uh, so the Slippery Noodle used to be part of like the uh, Underground Railroad and everything. Along with that, um, when they're, you know, apart from like. Uh, it's like prohibition stuff? Exactly, yeah. So with the prohibition, you know, the Underground Railroad, they threw like moonshine and whiskey and stuff down here. Um, and we've got like a still kind of set up just to show you. Oh, like, you know, cool. Like, like, and everything. And Thank you. Also, <laughs> just, just you're asking for a friend. What'd what, you say? I said, is it functional? Oh, no, functional. yeah, unfortunately not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for, for looks, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so this is like the notorious hallway. Oh my uh, god, this is cool. So these doors wow. are supposed to be original. Look at the floor, it's gravel. Yeah, yeah. 
Dude, that is so cool. Uh, we just keep storage in. You're more than welcome again to look at, but we just keep storage in these two. Okay. Uh, but this room right here is actually. Uh, and you got the band playing upstairs. That's yeah, cool as heck, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So Jim Beam actually. Wow. Yeah, they gave it. Yeah, they gave uh, the restaurant a bunch of stuff to kind of replicate, like with the still. Wow, neato. Check yeah. that out, guys. So this is a representation of what it was like back then. Dang, that is neat. You ever seen it like that, Davros? No. Me neither. This is crazy. That's that is... Kentucky. Yeah, <laughs> true that. Wow. Dude, that is awesome. Heck yeah. Okay. Dude, this is my favorite hallway ever. Oh, yeah. They have had like a lot of like national famous like paranormal groups mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. Um, they've had, you know, all kinds everything. of everything. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So. This is awesome. But yeah. Yeah, so like I said, that's a still right there and everything. That is so, so I'll just neat. Close that yep, up go ahead. So, uh, so back in the day, they also used. Uh, Whoa, hey, there we go, Marty. Hey, there he is. That's Marty yeah, right there. Is, Big shout out to Marty back, here at uh, Slippery Noodle. Get back at three bottles of Crown Royal. Yes. Hello, Florida people. Thank Marty, you. you hey, Marty, thank you so much, man. We were just talking about this room. I haven't even started yet, but this Bro. is the general manager. Thank you so much, yes, man. I appreciate course, it. Of course, of course. Yep. Thank yeah. you, man. Yep. Sweet. Crown cool. Royal back bar. Chop, chop. You said three? Yeah. All right. That's the man in charge right there. That's yeah. it. The Come on in the cubby hole. Watch your head. Heck yeah. Watch your head. Especially those of you who are taller Ooh. than five foot six. I'm talking to you, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is neat. So this, just where it was laid out, and just oh. the, I told you to watch your head. <laughs> Come on, Davros. Nice things. Give <laughs> um, the area where this is, and me being a history nerd, and because, uh, sir, if you would move your butt, because there are pipes <laughs> He knows you wall, too much. <laughs> this was probably the middens for the outhouses. Oh. So all the waste would drain down here. So he, he was right, actually. He had the right spot. Okay. So all the waste <laughs> would drain down here into barrels. The night man would come along and collect them. He would sell, dry the feces out, sell to farmers as fertilizer. He would sell the urine to uh, tanners to tan leather with, because that's what they did back then. Um, but the story is not everyone who came in the bar left the bar, and you guys are actually kneeling on top of bodies right now. This is where, holy wow. shit, that's because where it's at. Where better to hide a dead body than someplace that's already going to smell? Wow. You know, I kind of felt something when I came here, too. That's crazy. Another cool last thing about this room is there's still the remnants of one of the tunnels down here. Ooh. Hey, you got to ask about ghosts as well. That's the one that Daddy's talking. <laughs> Uh, there's still, like I say, Hello, Marty. He's awesome. The remnants of a, one of the tunnels that lead down here. Now, downtown Indianapolis is a mile square. North Street, South Street, East Street, West Street. At one point in time, you could walk from where the, the post office is now to where the public library is now, up on St. Clair Street, a mile and a half, never go above ground. Covered with tunnels. Wow. During uh, the Civil War, they used to make munitions for the Union Army in Rock Island, Illinois, the Rock Island Armory. They would ship them to downtown Indianapolis and storm in the tunnels underneath downtown and they'd get no them way. out where they That was the beam that actually had the meat hooks hanging on. Whoa. So they would slaughter the animals mm -hmm. here underneath the, in the cellars of the stable and then they would hang them to age and then they would, you know, butcher them down and serve them to the guests in the end. Wow. You don't see that nowadays. No. <laughs> uh, come on. Uh, I, the band's getting ready to go, so you're not going to yeah. hear me. Hey, no worries. The room right above us, the big music room, mm -hmm. or what we call the back room, was the stables for the inn. Okay. And so what our balcony area is now was the hayloft, and then they had some stalls for horses and a couple buggies or surreys that they, they would rent out to people. Um, back when cars came in vogue and horses went out of vogue, stables either became warehouses or, uh, or mechanic shops. This one became a warehouse. Uh, the owner met a young lady who was born in the bar. Her family ran the place. And during the Depression, uh, John Dillinger was born like 20 miles southwest of here. Uh, mm. John Dillinger and his gang and Al Brady and his gang hid out in the warehouse. Wow. They the wall. They had target practice, and there's still a couple bullets in the wall. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so neat. Mm. I'll turn you back over to Dillon. Show him the bullet holes. Yeah. Oh, dang. Went this way. Cool. Heck yeah. And then 
and then just watch. So this was probably an old dumbwaiter system because with the stables you store your hay up high where air can get to and it won't hold up, but you store your feed down low. So they probably used an old dumbwaiter system to haul the sacks of feed down here and store them and then haul them up to the horses. Cool. Now when nice. I first started working here, all this was pea gravel and these stairs weren't here. It was a trap door into a ladder that you climbed down to get down here. Dang, that's so cool. What okay. the heck? I'm old as shit. Wow. Show them the uh, bullet hole sign. Going to see Dillinger's bullet holes. This is crazy. Head right underneath, Jay. Okay, okay. kind of loud. I'll tell you, you're good. <laughs> he goes, yeah, he sees you in here all the time. He tries to contact you and you ignore him. And I'm like, yeah, I always get that feeling, you know, the hair's on the back of your neck. He goes, yeah, that's him. Next time that happens, say something like, well, I'm the boss here now or you're not the boss of me. It'll make the ghost angry. He'll attack you. It's great. We had a long conversation about the definition of great. Yeah. Um, the weird thing was, though, he described him as a fat white guy, slick back here with a pitted face. Twelve years later, I'm walking through another site with a lady from New Orleans, and she made a statement about spirits, except for one that wants to keep banging into my aura like you wanted to fight me, and she said it's a fat white guy that looks like he had smallpox. So 12 Whoa. years apart, I got two sightings describing the same ghost. Wow, that's amazing. So he's watching you. Yeah. Heck yeah. There's not a week that goes by, I don't hear footsteps or doors slamming. Wow. I just... That's I awesome. Advance. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely be back in the next year for yeah, sure. Just give me a call. We'll see Dude, time. you, bro, thank you guys so much, man. Slippery Noodle. Here's my card. Yeah. Give it to the boss. Yeah, I was going to say, give it to her. <laughs> Dude, thank uh, you so fun. much, too, bro. You're yeah, amazing, yeah. bro. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yes. And you guys can come out and see this, come out and hang out with these guys, listen to some great jazz music here. And uh, what'd you think, Davros? Is this awesome or what? Dude, you guys, thank you so much. Last minute, like, you we just walked in here. on video, bro. <laughs> you look much taller on the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, thank guys. You guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you guys. Guys, that was absolutely amazing. Big slap. Big. Sh I'm not even. I'm not. Shh. Don't tell me I have to look. I can't even talk. <laughs> Big shout out to the slippery noodle. That was amazing. Like good guys there. Davros, what did you think, bro? Because that was crazy, huh? That was pretty awesome, especially the. Uh, room downstairs major history there i, I kind of like the brothel area that was kind of <laughs> neat like the fuzzy walls and oh, stuff yeah, yeah. that was pretty neat well, like a rug or something. yeah it did so they said we can come back just call them in advance and we can stay for a day or two they said in the off season which would be cool like they do a 24-hour challenge there chels just got back to the hotel big shout out to the homie davros for driving up dude thank you man you are you are a super moderator I'm calling you the super duper moderator from now on. <laughs> but um, I feel a little bad. Okay, ever since we left Bobby Mackey's earlier today, stuff has been breaking on us. My phone broke. What else? Something else happened earlier too. I can't remember what it was. Remember what it was something that I can't remember. Oh, something about the bottom of Chelsea's car. Like it's dipped down low. She's like, I never noticed that before. There's something yeah, else. There's well, something hanging from the bottom of my car. Mm -hmm. Well, I tried to get out of Davros's car just a minute ago, 
And um, let me let me like try to get out of that car really quick. And look, it's it's literally like that's locked, that's unlocked. Davros, did, did was this was this broken before? No, it literally worked when we first got into it. So yeah, I don't know. Um, somehow I slash the crap around me broke his door. Like, I, 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 here's the crazy thing, Davros. When when you drop us off. When you get back to your, your place, I'm gonna try it. I want you to try it and let me know it. tomorrow. We need to like save her for real. Like this is this So Davros's really flashlight this stopped working funny. immediately. Really yeah, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run away from these two as fast as I can. <laughs> Davros is like, what did I get myself into? Seriously. If he doesn't show up to tomorrow's meetup, we know why. <laughs> yeah, it turned on for half yeah, a second and died. Second and died. When was the last time you charged that thing? Was it like years ago? You got a brand new battery now. What the fuck? What? Bro, I'm telling you, I, I swear to God. I, I charge them. Is, if something is falling on us, seriously. Like, wow. In the name of Jesus, like, get away from us. Seriously. Like, I don't know. I like this that. is starting to freak me out. I'm really starting <laughs> well, to wonder. Yeah, right? Wonder, but now the death has happened, I'm kind of wondering what's going on. Welcome to our world, Devers. Welcome to our world. Weird. And honestly, like, we, we gotta don't mess get with the dog. Boards. We don't mess with demonic stuff. But just going there to Bobby Mackey's and filming, like I'm scared that. I'm kind of scared too. <laughs> Holy shoot! Oh my God! Here, just take your phone. Okay. Look at this! Look at this thing. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, are you seizing? Are you okay? Oh my God! Are you okay? She's like, I just see my. Okay, okay. She's so okay. excited! Holy okay. crap! Holy crap! Oh my God! Pumpkin, was there something in there scaring you or something? Like, I have never seen her like this crazy. Oh my god, calm down. Calm I have down. seen her crazy, but I've never seen her that crazy. It's like she was scared. You okay? You okay? She's happy to see us or to see you, anyways. You okay? Holy. Oh, calm down. Calm down. Oh my god, what the heck? Let her get it out of her system. Dude, I, I don't know. Okay? What the hell? Okay? We didn't do a prayer. I know. I was saying that to you earlier. Well, we'll, we'll do a prayer tonight for sure. Like, we need to. Because it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know. I just, I hope this is all just a coincidence. But I'll keep you guys informed. And I'll let you know what, like, what's happening. Because it's just crazy. Davros, hopefully I didn't break your car. <laughs> and if I did, um, Chelsea would pay for it, okay? Sweet. Cool. All right. All right. Well, love you, fam. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Cincinnati. Peace. Yeah. Later, guys. This is my ending. What's yours, baby? Ha <laughs> ha!